Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahab of Tifla Fi kitab al-i'tisam min sahih Bukhari From a book of adhering to the sunnah by Imam Bukhari in his Sahih Bab Bab al iqtidai bi sunnan bi sunnan al Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it's the chapter entitled Adhering to the Sunnas, Sunnas of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Shaykhana Ubaid ibn Abdullah al Jabri, Hafidhullah ta'ala. He explained this in a one volume, very beneficial, very light ta'liqat, and something that we can all benefit from and reflect upon. When is someone from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or when is someone following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? When are they salafi and when they are ghayr salafi? Imam, Bar uh, Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala said, wa qulillahi ta'ala. وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا قَالَ أَأَمَّا نَقْتَدِي بِمَنْ قَبْلَنَا وَيَقْتَدِي بِنَا مَنْ بَعْدِنَا Imam Bukhari, he began the chapter with an ayat which is his, his way of affirming and adhering to the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he began with the ayat, the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah says, and make from us from the uh, an example for the righteous, you know, imams, leaders of the righteous, and imams that the people would follow. Imam uh, Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, the imams, meaning the scholars and the leaders, uh, Adhered, we adhere to those who came before us. And those who follow us will adhere to what we were upon. And what were they upon? What were these Imams upon? Upon the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this also is in accordance with the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, خَيْرَ النَّاسِ قَرَنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينِ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينِ يَلُونُهُمْ the Prophet ﷺ said, the best people are those uh, of my generation, then those who follow them, and then those who follow them. So, Shaykhana Ubaid, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he mentioned in explaining the the title of the chapter, he said, Al-Iqtida wa ittiba' bi ma'ana wa yashir al-musannif rahimahullah ila ma jaa fi tanzil al-kareem من وجوب الاقتداء برسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن تلك آيات قوله تعالى وما أتاكم الرسول فخذوه وما ناهكم عنه فانتهوا. The Sheikh said that اقتداء واتباع that they have a, a specific meaning, you know, to follow, to adhere to, to cling to, and we're talking about clinging to the Sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. And Imam Bukhari, he pointed to this, pointed this out by mentioning those verse, the verse that he began the chapter with, and he said, in accordance with that, is also the statement of Allah, where Allah says, and whatever he came, whatever he came to you with, whatever the messenger came to you with, then take it or accept it, and whatever he prohibited, prohibited you from, then leave it or avoid it. And this is a commandment from Allah Azza wa Jal. And then the Shaykh mentioned another ayat, Qala Ta'ala, وَمَا يَنْتَقُوا عَنَ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ Another ayat in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the Prophet wasallam did not speak from his desires, but rather he spoke with revelation. وَقَالَ Ta'ala and Allah the Almighty says, فَلْيَحْذِرَ الَّذِينَ يَخَالِفُونَ عَنْ عَمْرِ أَنْ تُسِيبُهُمْ فِتْنَةً أَوْ يُسِيبُهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, and this is also in accordance with the 
uh, chapter heading, the title, and showing us the importance of adhering to the Sunnah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then warn those who differ or who go against uh, his affair, meaning the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, that a, a fitna or a trial will befall them and a painful punishment will await them. The Shaykh then said, So he said that all of these verses, they illustrate for us that, and very clearly, that these are evidence that are indisputable showing that in order to have our deeds accepted, one of the conditions is following the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَقَوْلُهُ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا قُلْتُ الْآيَةِ رَبَّنَا حَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرُّتُ الْعَيْنِ قُرُّتُ الْعَيْنِ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا So the Shaykh also mentioned the verse again and then he said also uh, uh, the verse uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and those who say our Lord grant us from among our wives and offspring comfort to our eyes and make for us an example for the righteous so again this is showing us uh, Ahlul al Ilm and the people of Sunnah that they are an example for the people and their example and their righteousness comes from following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then the Shaykh mentioned that the end of the Surah, Surah Al Furqan, it mentions that those people that they asked Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to make them from the Immata Lil Muttaqin, to make them from the leaders of the pious, and and then he said, "Wala yukun rajul imamin." Then the Shaykh said, and a man could not possibly be an Imam that is worthy of being followed unless he traverses the path of the Sunnah. Again, this all ties in together, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve and bless the Shaykh for giving us these fawaid and Imam. Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala. And then the Shaykh mentioned, he said, وَمَا أَحْسَنَ مَنْ قَالَهُ إِمَامَ أَحْمَدِ رَحِمَهُمَا تَعَالَى وَمِنَ السُنَّةِ الْلَازِمَةِ الَّتِي مَنْ تَرَكَ مِنْهَا خَصْلَةِ لَمْ يَقْبِلْهَا وَيُؤْمِنُ بِيهَا لَمْ يَكُونْ مِنْ أَحْلِهَا So he mentioned then a statement of Imam Ahmed, rahimahullah ta'ala. And he said, and from the sunnah that, that is... Uh, absolutely a necessity to practice or, and, and, and understand is that when a, a man who leaves, who does not accept one aspect of the sunnah or believe in one aspect of the sunnah, then he is not from Ahlul Sunnah. He is not from Ahliha. And <clears throat> then he mentions the statement of Imam Baba Hari Rahimahullah Ta'ala who said, وَلَا يُحِلْ لِرَجْلٍ أَنْ يُقُولَ فُلَانْ صَاحِبُ السُنَّةِ حَتَّى يَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ قَدْ اجْتَمَعَتْ فِيهِ خِصَالَ السُنَّةِ فَلَا يَقَالُهُ صَاحِبُ السُنَّةِ حَتَّى تَجْتَمِعُ فِيهِ سُنَّةِ كُلَّهَا A very powerful statement by Imam Baba Hari رحمه الله تعالى that the Shaykh mentioned. In this statement, Imam Baba Hari said, and is not permissible for a man to say that so-and-so is a person of the Sunnah, meaning to say so-and-so is Salafi or so-and-so is from Ahl Sunnah, until they know that this person, they adhere to all of the aspects of the Sunnah, I meaning they don't leave the Sunnah, and do not say that this person is Sahib of Sunnah until they adhere to all the characteristics of the sunnah. Then the shaykh mentioned as a fa'idah, as a benefit here, he said, وَبِهَذَا تَعْلَمْ 
أن البدعة واحدة يسر عليها من قامت عليه الحجة رسالية ليس بصاحب السنة This is very important. This lets us know when someone is from Ahl Sunnah. The Shaykh ended this short um, explanation by saying, and with this, know that even one bid'ah, one bid'ah that someone continues to be upon, and they, it has been the proof or the hujjah has been established upon them. They've been given the evidence that this person who continues to traverse in this bid'ah, then know that they are not from Ahlul Sunnah. They are not Sahib Sunnah. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from uh, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah and those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.